Welcome to Oakland as you look at the hills behind the O.Co. Coliseum where today the Mariners look to get a win and come home five and four in this road trip and get a split in this series against the Athletics. Welcome everybody to Mariner Baseball. Dave Simpson, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. We are ready for action. Right-hander Chris Bassett on the mound and he's tossing the first pitch here to James Jones. First pitch way outside. Ball one. Plays a good air. First pitch. Beautiful day awesome. here in Oakland. Jonesy's third start since his most recent uh, well, in his course of this season. He's been caught up a couple times now. This will be his eighth game. 71 degrees here in Oakland. For Bassett, average fastball will be around 93 miles an hour at times. He will hit 97. In his last start for the A's, he used a curveball slider combination for his off speed pitches. He will mix in an occasional changeup. But again, he can get wild at times. Nine walks in the 15 innings that he has worked. Second start, his seventh game. First start. Full count. Mariners saw him back in May 9th in Seattle. They stayed batters in relief. Cano got an RBI single. He walked two and he hit Cruz. And strike three call. Let's take a look at the rest of the Mariners batting order against Chris Bassett. Today's starting lineup brought to you by Chevron. Jones, of course, leading things up. Kyle Seeger is going to move up and hit second. Then it is Cano, Cruz, and Smith in the middle of the lineup. Logan Morrison will hit sixth. Actually getting a rare start out in left field. He will bat seventh. And then it is Miller and Zanino rounding out the nine for the Mariners. For Bassett on the year. Again, you can see just the one start for him. Only 15 and two-thirds. 11 strikeouts, but nine walks. Opponents hitting 179. He's giving up one home run. Born and raised and still lives in Toledo, Ohio, Chris Bassett. And he's starting to get loose. That last fastball at 95 miles an hour. Shift on against Seeger. Second baseman Zobris and short right field. Mike Molinsky has balls and strikes today. Marty Foster with the Empire at first. Mark Wegner at second and Mike Winters at third. Five hole yesterday went 0 for 3 with a walk. Finds a hole, base hit. Left center field. We'll take a look at the defensive setup brought to you by American Family Insurance for the A's. Cannon getting the start at left field. Burns in center. Sam Fold getting his first start of the series. He will be in right field. Lori the third baseman. Simeon at shortstop. Zobras was in left yesterday. Back at second base today. Vote at first base and Fegley will do the catching. Brings up Robinson Cano. Last couple of games hitting four for eight. First seven games of the season series against the A's struggled hitting four for 28. Hit well, deep right center field. But just shy of the track is Sam Fold to make the catch in the ride. Two away. Looks like. Cano tried to get after his fastball so far. 11 pitches, all of them fastballs from Bassett. That first pitch fastball was right down the middle of the plate. Here's Nelson Cruz. Terrific first half of the season. Today, numerically, starts the second half of the season. Game number two. The 
club leader in average runs, hits, total bases, home runs, and runs batted in. Seventh in batting in the American League. Skipper Lloyd McClendon, he won't be with us for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday against Detroit. Sadly, lost his youngest sister, Angela, 43. She was the youngest of the 12 children in his family. McClendon family, and he'll be going back. Indiana for the funeral. Be with the stand. And our thoughts and prayers go out to this family. Bruce takes another strike at 22. That is the first breaking ball from Bassett. He's able to put it right on the outside corner. Looked like a slider. And he'll also mix in a curveball and change up. One day Kenderson Smith. Off. Now he's able to get a piece of it. Just 70 miles an hour on that last pitch. Bob Melvin on the right. 2012 manager of the year in the American League. Pitch to Bruce outside. Good road trip for Nelson. 313 average, a couple of home runs for him. Two outs and a 2 2 pitch. Seventh pitch coming up. Coming in is the left fielder going back to shortstop. Nice play, Marcus Simeon. So he beat Canna to the play and gets it done. Nothing across for the Mariners. The Athletics come to bat. This season, back to back shutouts, 18 consecutive innings, shutout baseball. Let's see if he can continue it against this A's lineup. Pretty good lineup, fourth in the American League in hitting. Billy Burns going to lead things off. A lot of speed from Burns, 17 stolen bases now. Then it's Vogt going to hit second. Zobris, Butler, and Fegley hitting in the middle of the lineup. Laurie coming over from Toronto. He will bat six. Canna, Simeon, and Sam Fold will round out the nine. 
For Montgomery on the year, three and two, a 162 ERA, 29 strikeouts over the 44 and a third that he has pitched. Opponents hitting just 178 against Mike. First start against the Athletics, Billy Burns, hacking first pitch, popped it up. Center fielder Jones calls everybody off, one away. Take a look at the Mariners' defense brought to you by American Family Insurance. Dustin Ackley getting the start in center or in left field. James Jones out in center. Seth Smith, the right fielder. Kyle Seeger at third base. First Miller and Cano playing up the middle. Logan Morrison at first. Mike Zeno had yesterday off back behind the plate this afternoon. How about Montgomery? What a turnaround in 168 innings, spanning eight minor league seasons. Never had a shutout. Here he is in the bigs. And a nice run goal. For Steven Vogt. Both back at first base. After catching in yesterday's game. Two for three with a walk. One one. Tanner's hitting 216 against Montgomery. Right is 167. Popped up. No taking charge. And it's two away. We'll bring up Ben Zobris. Switch hitter. Ben Zobris back at second base today. I think one of the things that we're seeing from Mike is with each outing, his fastball command has been getting better and better. He, I like the fact that he is willing to pitch inside, especially to the right-handers. And typically, he'll throw his fastball early in counts, and then again, put him away with the curveball changeup. There's another fastball right on the outside corner. And he keeps the ball down for the most part, Dave. Great. Right. Great formula. Waits. I don't mind seeing it every time we see Montgomery, but the love is poise. Didn't seem to get rattled out there at all. Chopper off the plate, Seeger. Oh, and it gets by both he and Miller. I think it went right out the end of Kyle's glove. Tried to cut it off. I'm, I'm not sure that Miller would have had a play if he ended up backhanding it. I'm not sure that he would have been able to throw Zobrist out. Zobrist runs well. Well, we'll take a look at a chopper. Kyle trying to cut across the diamond and get to it. He goes right off the end of his glove. It's a base hit for Ben Zobers. Two outs and brings up Billy Butler. Billy DH gets us in hard to Miller. They get the force to Cano, and that'll do it. Nice inning for Mike Montgomery. Fine start. No score here in Oakland.
on this list. Active scoreless inning streaks. Giovanni Gallardo, that cranky, Mike Montgomery, and Dallas Keuchel. Cranky had a big win yesterday against the Mets. Gallardo's really been on a good run. Mm-hmm. Here's Seth Smith to lead things off for the Mariners in the second inning. A lot of success during day ball games this season, hitting a 323. Shift on for him as well with Toberson short right field. Seth Smith, Logan Morrison, and Dustin Ackley. I think one of the things that has helped Mike Montgomery has been some pretty good run support over the last couple of outings too. And yes, they're nine inning shutouts, but two outings ago they scored seven runs for him, and then the guys in San Diego put up a five spot, give him some room to work with. You'd like to see that happen again today. High drive down the line, left field deep, and it is wow! What a catch, Marcana! Goodness gracious, he had to run a long way to get that one. He was playing shallow and towards left center field. And the ball was actually slicing away from him. Our big fish casino, big catch of the day. Up running, fighting the sun. Looks as if this might have been a fair ball down the line. Yes, it would have been. He takes a double away from Seth. Really good running catch. What a good concentration. Knew the walls were closing in. It was Logan Morrison. That's a good point, too, because I'm sure that he did, Dave, and, and he was not going to take his eye off the ball because of the sun. He didn't want to have to try to pick it up again, but he had to know he was getting close to the wall. Inside uh, Lomo. We've seen the second baseman Zobrist in this series with. Morrison hitting and with Kyle Seeger hitting, he'll go way out onto the grass towards right field. Just to give himself some more range. One and two. Romo, the leadoff man for the Mariners yesterday, went 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Up, plenty of room. And the pitcher takes charge, Chris Bassett. He beats Fegley to it. Detroit Tigers are our century link. What's next? Fredo Simone goes against Asashi Iwakuma on the who's on the comeback trail. Kyle Ryan against Taiwan Walker and Annabelle Sanchez has been pitching well his last couple of outings against Jay Happ. Again, a calf injury has knocked out Miguel Cabrera for the next six weeks. So we will not see the two time MVP. Ball one to Dustin Ackley. Lefty's now four for 31 against Chris Bassett after that Logan Morrison at bat. Two old pitch. Ah. See that last fastball right down the middle. 28 pitches for Bassett. The majority of them have been fastballs. He threw a slider and a couple of curveballs to Nelson Cruz. Other than that, he's just gone right after the rest of the lineup. Two and two. Exactly, was a defensive replacement in Friday night's 9-5 Mariner win. Right now he's battling two and two. Pitch from Bassett. Miss with the off-speed pitch. Let's see Gray with 
Felix in the cover. Rainier is in the Three two. Up the middle base hit for Dustin Ackley with two outs. Here in the second inning. And again, all fastballs. Six pitch. They're trying to get in on his hands. He throws it out over the plate, and Dustin hits it right back up the middle. Brad. Two out tackles aboard. Next batter is Brad Miller, swinging the bat pretty well lately. Last eight games, hitting 407. Three runs, three doubles, two homers, and five runs driven in. Key now is to keep him hot and get a few other guys rolling offensively on a consistent basis. That was kind of the frustration that uh, Lloyd McClendon was sharing with, sharing with the media before the game, you know, and we talked about it in the open. Those first couple of games, pretty good shape, and then you have situations like this where you get a pop out for Lori to end the inning. Nothing to cross. Second inning, coming your way. Final session coming your way when we get back. Ford stores by the Emerald Queen Casino presenting the Under the Sun Tour with Sugar Ray July 25th. Tickets at EmeraldQueen.com. By Alaska Airlines. Enjoy free entertainment on your personal device. Learn more at AlaskaAir.com. And by Safeco Insurance. Find a local agent at Safeco.com. Do more. Renowned Lombard Street. All the twists and turns. Absolutely beautiful over in San Francisco. Ah! Must see on your tourist stop in the great city. Josh Fegley leads off, followed by Brett Laurie and Mark Cannon. This pitch there, 0 and 2 from Montgomery. And again, you can see first pitch fastball comes back with the changeup. He is throwing a lot of strikes. 11 pitches, nine strikes so far for Mike. He missed with a cutter trying to get it in on his hands and left it up out of the strike zone. Henry always working at a nice pace. He's got a one two count. Henry go way foul. Fakely did first inning damage. Thursday. 
two run double against the Mariners and a four nothing A's win. He's won the first game four nothing. There has come back game two nine five. Felix was valiant yesterday, losing two nothing. Got out multitude of bad situations, and there's a foul tip strikeout. Fegley is retired first K for Mike Montgomery. We'll take a look at it. it. Looks like the change up up out over the plate. Tried to check his swing. There you go, Shivers. Got a piece of it. When you look at Felix yesterday, and it was one of the things that Lloyd McClendon was talking about, I was impressed with Felix. He only had one clean inning and really had to work hard to get through the seven innings that he ended up pitching and giving up just the two runs. Well, he bounces out to Cano. Next BECU family night. It's coming up tomorrow, 7 10 start time. Tigers in town. Each member of the family can purchase a select view level seat. For one low price to get your savings, live on the Mariners.com and buy your BECU Family Night tickets for tomorrow night. That was amazing. Go back and look at yesterday's action. Felix held Oakland at two for 15 runners in scoring position. How about that? I still shake my head about in the second inning. He had the bases loaded with nobody out. Right. I was able to get out of that inning without giving up a run. Mark Kenna made a terrific catch. Robbing Seth Smith. Extra bases. Logan's talking about yesterday with Felix. He said uh, yesterday he gives you an example of how great he is. He said he had nothing. And then you look up, he goes seven innings, two runs. His competitive nature is unbelievable. And you just can't say enough good things about him. Consider the A's the number four hitting team in the American League. They're fourth in runs scored. They're hitting about 265 with runners in scoring position. So that was quite the effort by Felix. And you can see Canada has really struggled against lefties this year. Just a 121 average. Two outs, nobody on. One two pitch. Outside for ball two. He's had good fastball command. His changeup has been there, but he's still trying to find the curveball. Popped up, and the scoreless string will continue. Brad Miller takes it. That's 20 consecutive scoreless innings for Mr. Montgomery. Meanwhile, on the flip side, the Mariners have been held scoreless their last 12. See if they can get going when we come back. Time throws his 28th consecutive complete game. <laughs> the Pirates do nothing. 
Number 36 for the Phillies. It was a different era. Well, I'll guarantee you there were a number of games where he was throwing 150, 160 oh, pitches. Without a doubt. Nice man. Passed away a few years ago. Played against a couple of teams he coached when I was in high school. Not just a lovely person. He's a good athlete at Michigan State. 2 0 to Mike Zanino. So Mike entered last night's game in the eighth inning after Jesus Sucre was pinch hit for. One to Mike. Nine, one, and two for the Mariners. Zanino, Jones, and Seeger. Popped up, short center field, coming in Burns. Billy is there. Mariners return home tomorrow. 7-10 start time. They'll host the Detroit Tigers opening a three-game series on Wednesday. Enjoy Mariners baseball under the summer sun. Going to face off in a special afternoon start time of 1240. Tickets for this midweek matinee, they're available right now at Mariners.com. Jonesy took a cold third strike on a 3-2 pitch to lead off the ballgame. Looking for his first hit of the season. Second time through the lineup for the Mariners and a couple of things with Bassett again young right hander has a good fastball and it looks as if he has some late movement to it. But it's pretty much first pitch fastballs and if he misses with the pitch he's coming back with another fastball if he's behind in the count he's going to challenge you with a fastball. So the guys really ready to hit his fastball so far stopped out at 95 in the 92 93 mile an hour range. Jones will take off. By Fidley, completes the play, two outs. That's when you get into trouble for Jones. Had a couple of fastballs to hit, missed him, and then he ended up throwing him a curveball that he strikes out on. Right. Quick two outs. Hopefully the guy's be able to pick up his release point and get after the fastball. Kyle had base hit his first time up. The A's had the shift on, and Kyle hit the ball the other way. Lloyd moving him up to the two spot, getting him some more at bats. Question was put to Lloyd as Seeger scuffling. He said, by no means is he scuffling. He's given us quality at bats. He just missed the home run yesterday. Give him more opportunities up here higher in the batter, batting order today. Well, and the other part about it, too, is I think that if the hope was that you give Jones a start, and if Jones get on base a couple of times, Kyle should get some more fastballs to hit. First pitch fastball to him for a strike. Backhanded at first by Stephen Boat. Three up, three down. 13 scoreless innings for the Mariners. No score here in Oakland.
take a look. Active scoreless inning streak. And a rookie record for Mariner pitcher Langston and Brandon Morrow. 21 innings. He's got 8, 9, and 1 in the A's order coming up. Marcus Simeon, Sam Fold, and Billy Burns. One strikeout thus far for Montgomery. Giving up an infield hit. That's it. Two no to Simeon. Three for ten here in the series. Pitch from Montgomery foul back. Pre-game show over on the radio side, Rick Riz was asking me if Montgomery reminded me of anybody, and I told him, you know, I've been thinking about that quite a bit. And the guy that he reminds me of, and a lot of the Mariner fans will remember him, is Dave Fleming. Okay. Dave Fleming in his rookie year, he won, I believe he won 17 games as a rookie for the Mariners, but he had a good cutter, could use his changeup, really threw a lot of strikes, keep the ball on the ground. Would mix in a curveball, and it's a lot of what we see from Mike Montgomery. Oh, nice snag job by the lefty. And they can build their position. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the long arm of Mike Montgomery. One away. I'll take a look at Mike. See what kind of fielding position he gets himself in. Pretty good. Not bad. How many times you see these guys in there spinning off of the mound? He gave himself a chance. One of the best as far as getting himself into a good fielding position that I ever saw was Jamie Moyer. Oh, my goodness. Always on the money, right? Yep. You can see Dave Fleming at the top of this list for rookie shutouts. Four in 1992. Sam Fold the better, one one Good list. Langston Young. All these left-handers. Yep. Alama Moore stuttered in Rick Honeycutt. He gets into this one. Deep to right. And it's gone. Sam Fold with a home run his first of the year. And there goes the scoreless streak for Mike Montgomery. one nothing. Athletics. Yeah, 1-1 one, one count. And one of the few fastballs, he throws it right in the middle of the plate. 91 miles an hour, and Sam Fold takes care of the number nine hitter in the A's lineup. Sam Fold unloads. Early lead here. For the athletics, and there's Billy Burns. Boy, he's consistent again, swinging at the first pitch. He and Altuve got to be the leaders in the I league agree. by yeah, far. Absolutely. And wouldn't you know it, Sam Paul, his first home run of the year. Breaking ball hit right to Seager. Two away. Stick around after the game for Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Ian Desmond of the Nationals, 47% of the time swings at the first pitch. Altuve 38.1. I'd have thought that was way more. I would have guessed him. Uh, I would have guessed he would have been up over 40 percent easily. Easy. I'm not sure any of them were hitting 500 like Burns <laughs> is though on that first pitch. Right. <laughs> Even Vogt popped out to Cano's first time. Thank you. Pitch, breaking ball, swing on a miss. Second strikeout for Montgomery. A scoreless streak ends at 20. Now let's see if the Mariners can end there. 
13 inning scoreless streak. They trail 1 0 to the Athletics. And too much good stuff by Steel to find your local Steel dealer. Visit SteelDealer.com and by BNSF Railway sponsor the BNSF Blast. Panoramic view, San Francisco. Always a pleasure coming here to the Bay Area. We'll be back for the final time this season. Labor Day weekend, four, five, and six of September. Here's Robbie Cano. Wide out deep to right field, Sam Fold making the catch. Ah. On a one to Cano, he'll be followed by Cruz and Smith, three, four, and five here for the Mariners. He's number one in ERA in the American League. 3.38. Mariners are sixth. One or two to Cano. Hit this well. Pretty good carry. Burns going back on the track and he makes a catch. Robbie's gone deep to right field and now to center field. Nothing to show for it. Mariners in EQC. Give a salute to U.S. servicemen and women with the ticket discount offered at nearly every home game. Present your military ID at the Safeco Field box office and receive 10% off select main terrace or view level seats. To all who serve our country, a big thank you. Ellie Cruz popped up to the shortstop. Second baseman Zobers shading towards the second base pack. Good fastball right on the outside corner at 95 miles an hour. That's a good paint job, isn't it? 0 and 2. Deals. Slicing. Fly ball to right field for Sam Fold. Fold with the home run to give the A's 1 0 lead. His first homer of the season, 11th of his career, and his last home run. Yep, you got it. Against the Mariners. Last September 14th, it was against Chris Young. Here's Seth Smith. 
He drove one deep into the towards the left field corner and a nice long running catch by left fielder Mark Canna. Another thing too about that can of catch, he's right-handed, so he had to reach across his body. Not like a lefty going out right, there. And he had to deal with the sun also. The wind's blowing out towards right. The ball was still slicing away from him a little bit. Not as far in the left center as he was this first time that Seth was up. Playing pretty much straight away and left now. And Bassett to me, looks like he's starting to settle in. First couple of innings, he was a little bit wild with his fastball. But so in this inning, he, he looks he looks much sharper. Quality pitches from him in this inning. I agree. And he's starting Se to mix in his breaking ball more. Seeker's got a hit, and Ackley's got a hit, and that's it. As we play here in the fourth. Foul ball. Mariners took BP today. A lot of times on Sundays they don't take batting practice, but they went through the normal week. I mean, they yeah, that's because they didn't yesterday. Right. Back to back day games, and, I, and typically I always not going to let them go a couple of days without getting their work in. So they were out taking batting practice today. And given the way things are going right now, just put in the work. Yeah, exactly. Two and two. Edgar was out there with him. Two out, nobody on. Two two pitch. Full count. We showed the numbers. It, it's an odd road trip for them. Four and four going into this game, and kind of been an all or nothing type of deal. Either they score a bunch of runs, or they have a tough time getting guys on base. Two to Smitty. Out back. For the first run since the five run eighth on Friday. Smith works a walk. First walk for the Mariners this afternoon. Brings up Logan Morrison. Logan Morrison. Popped out to the pitcher. About territory, third base side. Bassett was quick to get off the mound. And out ran his catcher Josh Figley to record the out. Uh. Check swing, strike one. Has come home three with Detroit, four with the Angels, and next week at this time they'll be playing the final game of the first half. Yeah. So foul back again. Mariners will begin the second half of the season. Three games at the Yankees, four at Detroit, and later in the month. Highest, highest scoring team in baseball, the Blue Jays come in for three and Arizona for three. I want two to Morrison, man aboard. Scouting report on Bassett was he was going to throw a lot of fastballs, and we've seen that, but now he's starting to mix in his off speed pitches, and we've seen him. Throw his breaking ball as low as 70 miles an hour, and he's topped out at 95. Last pitch looked like a cutter at 89. Might have been his slider. 6'5, 210 pounder. 26 years old. Chris Bassett. 0 2. Palomo up high. Short 
right field for Lomo. Inside as he jackknifes out of the way. Ball two. Seth Smith, he's at first base, the third Mariner base runner. Oh, oh, foul off again. Well, these are the kind of at bats that you'd like to see. This will be the seventh pitch coming up to Logan, and we've talked about it with the A's. I think Mariners want to get into their bullpen. Their bullpen has been a struggle this year, been inconsistent. The starters are first in the American League in ERA, right at three, so the starters have done a good job for them. Bassett in his previous outing through 84 pitches, so. I think if you can get his pitch count up and get after the bullpen, give you a really good chance to score some runs, which is what we saw in game two of this series. Mariners really beat on the bullpen. Do it again, a two and two to Morrison. High fly ball, another long run for Canna towards the line. When he makes the catch in foul territory, the Mariners are turned away again. 14 consecutive scoreless innings for the Mariners. One nothing A's. Sam Fold, his first homer of the season, just his 11th career home run. And the last time he hit a home run, it was against the Mariners. Last September 14th against Chris Young. And that ended Mike Montgomery's scoreless streak at 20 innings. He'll face three, four, and five in the order. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Zobris, Butler, and Figley. Ground ball to Miller. And there's one away. Zobers 10, an infield hit his first time up. To bring up Billy Butler. Go for one. Well, one of the other things that you would like to see, and so far it's been happening for Mike Montgomery today, is, is be efficient with your pitch count, get deep into the game, which obviously he has been doing as of late, but you would really like to see that happen today. The Mariners don't have an off day till they get to the All Star break. And Maybe Wakuma going tomorrow. Not sure what you're going to get his first outing of the year. You'd, you'd like to have a arrested bullpen going into that game just in case. Okay, Dilly, I hope you can get seven, maybe certainly six for me, Wakuma. Yeah, I, th I think if first time out, if you can get six, I think you guys would be happy with that. One to two to Butler. Oh. 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 Oh.
drills one left field and right on the case is Dustin Ackley. Two outs. So, as we all know, Billy. <laughs> that's well done. Country Breakfast, that's his nickname, got it last year in Kansas City. And he's part of that American League Championship team. And coming into this series, he's been a hot hitter for the A's. Hit that last one hard. Fortunately, it was a line drive right to Ackley. And he had to move a couple of steps to catch it. Josh Figley, the hitter, struck out on a 1 2 pitch leading off the second inning. Long run for Jones. He's got it covered. Nice inning by Mike Montgomery. 1 2 3 go the A's in the fourth. 1 0 Oakland. Yep. Mariner fans rooting for some runs right now. Here's how it stacks up. Two starters, Mike. There you go. For Montgomery, it's really been efficient so far. Last inning, just eight pitches, five strikes for him. Only two hits in the game. Unfortunately, one of them left the ballpark. And you can see Bassett getting a good fastball. That's what we thought from him. Only a couple of strikeouts, so he did walk one batter. But he's had to throw 64 pitches compared to the 43 by Montgomery. Here's Dustin Ackley taking strike one. He's got one of the two hits today. The other Kyle Seeger in the first. Dustin got his with two outs, nobody on in the second inning. He's a wick 0 2 hole. They're one and two. Bassett's been 0 and 2 to three of the last four men that he's faced. And young man making just the second start of the season. It's his seventh game. He faced the Mariners back on May 9th in Seattle. Faced eight batters. Ackley just over the leaping Ben Zobris for a base hit. Third Mariner hit their fourth base runner. Three all speed pitches, all of them a slow curveball, right around 70, 71 miles an hour, but three in a row, and Dustin able to time that one as he lines it out in the right field. Brings up Brad Miller. 
fouled out to third baseman Brett Laurie right in front of the A's dugout. And Brad has been a hot hitter for the Mariners in the last eight games, hitting 407. Done some damage too, three doubles, a couple of home runs. What did you guys try to do when you try to shake yourself out of an inconsistent run like the Mariners are on right now? I mean, one a couple of days you hit, the next two days like this, the old Casey yeah. Stengel, this is a bat, this is a ball. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was that simple sometimes. You know, sometimes you need to make it that simple, yeah, right? really. You know, yeah, we've talked about it. Sometimes you overthink it. But I think when you get into the games and you start getting to this point of it, fourth, fifth, and nothing really seems to be happening right. for you is when. You put more pressure on yourself and guys try to do too much. But hopefully they can get things going here in this inning. Nobody out. Dustin starting off with the base hit. Things that Lloyd talked about today with the media. Hey, I'm trying to do some things to make guys relax. Yeah, that's it. What you don't want to do is start turning that bat handle into sawdust. And that's what that can, that can happen. It man. can You're happen. Yeah. Just trying to do too much. Now Seeger has a base hit. One to one to Brett. Oh, two strikes. Sometimes you can get some help too, and that's one of the things I expected in this series. When you look at Oakland defensively, they've been the worst team in the American League, but in this series, they've really played well on the field. They've made too many mistakes that the Mariners can take advantage of. In this game, they've already run down three blasts to the outfield. Miller swings through. Here's the third strikeout victim of Chris Bassett, who's one away here in the fifth. As we take a look at the Mariners' calendar, brought to you by Sleep Country USA. Detroit coming to town, followed by the Angels, then the All Star break, and then off to New York City. Mike Zanino fouls one back. Yankees pounded today at home by Tampa Bay, eight to one. Toronto, how about this, 10-5 at Detroit. Beat up on Verlander. Justin Smoke homered in that game. The winning pitcher in that Tampa Bay win. He's now seven and three. And Montgomery pitching well for the Mariners and Rosmo Ramirez pitching well for Tampa Bay. As both sides happy. Boston has retaken the lead 5 4 over Houston to top the eighth in Boston. 0 2 to Zanino. The other thing, you, I think you mentioned it at the start of this series, but Toronto averaging what, six oh, runs a game? Almost six a game, man. Uh, Jeez. They, must, they must not be happy with that because every night we look up there and <laughs> putting a 9 10 spot on the board. It's crazy. Speed pitch misses. Smoke got a high fastball off of Verlander. Killed it, and we've seen him have when he was with the Mariners. Had a lot of success in Detroit. Jones waiting on deck. And Zanino can pop something here two and two. With one out here in the top of the fifth. 
One nothing. Athletics on the third inning home run by Sam Fole. He's worked a full count. We'll see if Lloyd will put the game in motion right here. Three and two. At the times you'll start the runner at first base, which is actually try to stay out of the double play if you can. Three and two. Actually doesn't run. Pitch foul back. Pretty good fastball for Zanino to handle. You can see it's right down the middle at 92 miles an hour. Next pitch will be 80 for Bassett. Now back again. Good job staying on that slider after the fastball that he missed comes back with a slider middle away. Here we go, we'll do it again. Exactly with his lead. It takes off this time. And this will be caught. And this will be a double play. 15 consecutive scoreless innings. A piece of bad luck right there for the Mariners. 1 0. Oakland. Afternoon right now. A's leader one nothing as we take a look at our Delta Airlines keep climbing standings. Mariners trying to stay out of the basement. It's the half game lead on the Athletics. Right now the Houston Astros a 5-4 deficit. Bottom of the eighth in Boston. Angels and Texas coming up at 7:05 Pacific. Angels put one on them last night. 13 nothing. Texas Rangers. Brett Lurie leads off. 44 pitches for Montgomery. 30 strikes. Not a lot of strikes again today. Lurie, Mark Kenna, and Marcus Simeon. You're in the fifth. Brett grounded out to Cano in his first at bat. Run on two hits for the Athletics. Infield hit Zobris in the first. Second hit was a big home run by 
Sam Full fly ball right field driving Smith back on the track and he makes a catch. One away here in the fifth this copyrighted telecast is presented by 30 of the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. A Green Bay Packer fan and a Mariner fan. Twenty two thousand one hundred sixty three on hand here at Odadco Coliseum. Strike one to Mark Canna, the left fielder, popped out to the shortstop his first time. Gives it a ride with way foul. One of the things that we've seen from Montgomery that's really helped him out to the right handed hitters. He'll throw the cutter in off the plate. There's not much they can do with that pitch. If they get the barrel to it, typically they're going to do what Cannon did and then just pull it foul. Ball one. Fuse totals. Pitches 34 strikes, starting to get a better feel for his curveball. Seeger gives a little bit of ground, quick release. Did by Lomo, got him. Nice play. Take a look at it. Kyle giving a little bit of ground and gets rid of it quickly. He bounces it on purpose. He wants to bounce it off of the grass. Very close play at first base. And it looks like. Bob Melvin's going to challenge it. We'll take another look at it. Canna believes he's safe. I think if, if if Kyle had given him a little bit longer of a hop, then Logan would have been able to go out and stretch and help him out, but he had to make sure that he was going to catch the ball and wasn't able to stretch out as he normally does. Well, you can hear the A's yep. fans as they watch the big board here. Looks like it's going to be a quick decision. We'll take another look at it. His foot hits the bag before the ball hits the back of Logan's glove. Yeah, and I think that's going to be an infield hit. Mike Winters and Marty Foster taking a look and a listen. They might be having some audio issues communicating with New York. They're looking up at the board, eh? I don't know if they necessarily need confirmation from New York. I think it's been pretty much settled. Out of their hands now. Well, that command center, I can vouch from having been over there during in February. It is really something special. Safe. For an infield hit. Mark Canna with one out here in the fifth. That's a third hit this afternoon for the Athletics. Number 10. So one out, one on Marcus Simeon. And a comeback to Montgomery in his first time up. Fifth in the American League in stolen bases. Canada's done well. Big man's five out of six. You saw his speed. You can smell that infield hit. <laughs> He's moving down the line. A decent lead. Back one. Breaking 
ball for strike. First couple of innings, Mike was struggling with this curveball, but now he's starting to get it down to the bottom of the strike zone. Every now and then he'll bounce it on purpose, but early he was leaving everything up. He has a better feel. Stop by Zamino. Two strikes. Line drive, base hit, left field. Ackley will get it back in. Diving for third and getting in safely is Mark Ken on a solid single by Simeon. So here come the A's with one out runners at the corners. I think this is on the changeup. We'll take a look at it. 78 miles an hour as Dave mentioned, hit hard right over the head of Brad Miller at short. Next hitter is Sam Fold as we take a look at our Seattle City Light power play. 1 1 pitch. First homer since September 14th, a year ago against the Mariners. Chris Young. Sam Fold leaves the yard. 1 0. Athletics, that was back in the third. Good speed for the A's everywhere. Canna at third, Simeon over at first, and of course, Fold, the hitter. Montgomery's got to pitch his way out of the jam here. Seeger playing even with the bag at third just in case he decides to bunt. Opportunity. Cannell hangs in. There's a wind killing as they go around the horn, and man, did they need that. And Montgomery pitches out of a jam, keeping this a one nothing ball game. We look forward to getting home. Wrap up the first half of the season. Three with Detroit, four with the Angels. And how about Mike Montgomery again pitching out of a gym? That's one, been one of the big keys for him. He typically will get that ground ball when he needs a double play. He can make a pitch to make that happen for him, and he's able to do it again in the fifth inning. We've seen that time and time again from Montgomery. 
Top of the order Jones, Seeger, and Cano against Chris Bassett. Jones is 0 for 2. He's struck out looking and swinging. See what he's done so far. Really good with his pitch count. 58 pitches, four hits, a couple of them infield hits. He hasn't walked anybody yet. Like the Jones, two and one. Bassett now at 84 pitches. That's what he threw in his last outing. 84 pitches. They'll probably let him go to 95. Right back. Right to back to him. Looks like James, he was trying to take that out towards second base with him. Fortunately, he bunted it right back to Bassett. Bassett's given up three singles today and walked one, so the Mariners have had four base runners. Brings up Kyle Seeger. He got the Mariners' first hit. That was in the first inning. Base hit to left on a 2 1 pitch. Now it's all about the Carolina connection. Seeger's got one hit. Dustin Ackley in a rare start. He's got two. The other base runner was a walk to Seth Smith in the fourth. Coming in is full. Going back is Zobris. Sam calls him off. And there's two outs. Keep your eye on the bus. Follow us from a safe distance on Twitter at Sound Transit. Number 22, Robinson. Mariners looking for their first run since they put up five in the eighth in Friday's game. Right now they're string at 15, two thirds scoreless innings. He hit a deep fly ball to right fielder's first time up and then set the center fielder Burns to the track a second time up. He's over two. The other way, stay fair. It goes foul. Oh and two. Next pitch will be 90 for Bassett. Nobody getting loose in the pen for the A's. Two outs, nobody on here in the top of the sixth. A one nothing A's lead. Two, two, Cano. hit him in the ankle or the foot. And here we go. 88 miles an hour is the cutter right off the back of his ankle, it looked like. Mm. I said. A subpar first half. Lost his grandfather. Has been battling some stomach problems. It's not what he envisioned when we teed it up back on the 6th of April. Yeah, back of the ankle, right on his Achilles. Fifth Mariner base runner. Looks like he's going to stay in the game. That's good news. Assistant head trainer Rob Nodine. With Robbie. So two outs, one on for the Mariners. Down one nothing, and 
We'll bring up Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz. Now he's popped out to short, fly it out to right. Nice little house cleaning there by Mr. Cruz. Nelson his 21st home run in Friday night's game headed out to right center field. Listers uh. that one left field. Cano he's got enough legs to get the third on this double by Nelson Cruz. Testing his ankle right away. Let's say he hit a baseball. Well, you're right. He's able to turn on this pitch. Looks like a fastball trying to throw it to the inside corner. And he drops the barrel on it. First opportunity for the Mariners to hit with a runner in scoring position. Comes with two outs. Cruz to go ahead run at second for Seth Smith. Fly deep to the left field corner. Fine running catch by Mark Canna. Walk the second time. Chance to give the Mariners the lead. And here looks at strike one. Trying to get the young. Chris Bassett here in the sixth. Best opportunity the Mariners have had all day. Hey, almost hit him. Mm -hmm. One on one. Action down in the bullpen for the Athletics now. Pomerantz starting to heat up. First and short right field again for Seth Smith. One one pitch. Ball two. Good pitch. See if he can hammer one. Two outs. Cano was hit by a pitch. Cruz bashed a double to left, second and third. Now a two-one count to Seth. Two and two. It's only two thousand one sixty-three on hand, rooting. The young Chris Bassett here. Josh Fegley, the catcher, going out. He's had to make a couple of trips out to the mound. Again, just the second start for Bassett. First start was against Colorado. We went five innings, giving up just one run. Here are your runners. Cruz and Cano. Seth Smith. Been a good hitter during daytime ball games this season. Entering today, 323 batting average under the sun. A little knock right here would be useful. 2 2 pitch. Full count. Logan waiting on deck. Cruz at second, Cano at third. This is the second man to reach third base since the eighth inning on Friday night. Ball game. Here's a big payoff. It's 3-2. Up 
the middle, base hit. Here comes Cano. Right behind him is Cruz. The throw from Burns from center field. It will be not in time. Seth Smith with a big two-run single. And the Mariners have a 2-1 lead. Ends the scoreless streak after 15 innings. They're on the board with the lead. We were talking about Seth Smith yesterday and how consistent he has been this year. Trying to go back inside. Everything was inside to him, but this one, fastball misses his spot, leaves it out over the plate, and Seth hits it hard. We'll take a look at Nelson Cruz. A little tire coming in, didn't he? He got up and laughed about it, which is a good thing. Well, main thing is he was able to get his hand on home plate. <laughs> I thought it was interesting before that pitch was thrown. We were showing you Lloyd McClendon in the dugout and Lloyd was looking out at second base trying to get Cruz to get a bigger lead a bigger secondary lead. Unfortunately he had enough speed to score on that. That's Seth Smith two run single aside for sore eyes Mariners have a 2 1 lead. They've chased Chris Bassett here in the sixth. Chris Bassett thinking about what he had working. He is out of this ball game. He threw the ball pretty well today. Five and two thirds, just five hits for the Mariners. A couple of runs they were earned. He is responsible for Smith, who's at first base. Just one walk, he hit a batter. Three strikeouts, 98 pitches, 62 of those for strikes. Drew Pomeranz going to take over his 24th appearance on the year. A 3.67 ERA, 46 strikeouts, 25 walks, and 56 and a third. A lot of walks for him. Pretty good fastball for the left hander. There's Logan Morrison. Smith at first, two outs, two runs in. Breaking ball. Hit to Zobris, who's playing out short right field. And he throws out Morrison. A big pick me up inning for the Mariners in the sixth. A two out, two run single by that man, Seth Smith. Mariners lead it 2 1.
consistent this year, and they take advantage of one Cano getting hit, and the Cruz with the double, two outs. And I can't think of a better guy in that spot than Seth with the way that he's been swinging the bat this year. He's been so consistent. And a mistake by Bassett on a fastball. Wanted to go inside, left it out over the plate, and he hit it hard. Take a look at Nelly Cruz coming around. This will not be in a seminar anytime soon, but he did get on to the end of the plate, as you mentioned. <laughs> Even, even knew it was not one of his more elegant moments. <laughs> Before he was able to get up off the ground, Cano, who <laughs> scored in front of him, was already laughing, so he knew he was in trouble. <laughs> and a little skin abrasion. Rob no doubt yeah. takes care of it. Omo might have a chance. Top the order here for the athletics. Billy Burns, Stephen Vogt, and Ben Zobrist. Last inning in the fifth, Montgomery got out of a jam. And one out runners at the corners got a double play around the horn, and that was it. One of the other numbers for Seth Smith. It's kind of fun. I'm not sure how much it really means, but oh boy. Slapped one down the line. Ray Burns, base stealing threat, 17 out of 20. Laid off man's aboard, and a reminder you can meet the Mariner Moose during your next trip to Safe Go Field by visiting the Seattle Children's Moose Den. And it's conveniently located on the main concourse in center field. It's open to all fans, so be sure to stop by the Seattle Children's Moose Den this season. Good job on Smitty. Oh, well, he's hitting 328 in day games, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe he sees the ball a little better in the daytime. It's time to look out. Foul ball. Off the bat of Stephen Vogt, he's 0 for 2. With a pop out to Cano and a strikeout. Montgomery ran a scoreless inning streak to 20 and gave up a home run to fold back in the third. Mark Lowe starting to heat up for the Mariners. I think with Burns at first base, a little bit of a guessing game. There's Mark Lowe getting loose. But with Burns, I don't think he's going to try to read Montgomery if he wants to steal. He's going to go on his first move. So a little bit of a guessing game. See seven ground ball outs. Off the glove. Mm. One of the things you might be wondering about with as well as Mike has been pitching is why is Mark up right now? Only 66 pitches. Well, that's part of the problem when you're throwing complete games. 105 against Kansas City, and then mm -hmm. his last outing, 113. So Lloyd has been thinking about that also. This is not the era of the complete game no. like it was we showed earlier in, in our MLB flashback talking about Robin Roberts in the state in 1953. Yeah. Was it 28 get second at one point? Oh, good play by Logan. No, you're right. He's still a fairly young pitcher and will take care of him. Remains 0-2 to vote. Here's your double play opportunity. Nice turn there by Brad Miller. A quick two outs. Tigers coming to town, their only visit. CenturyLink, what's next? Fredo Simone against the comeback in Hisashi Iwakuma. Kyle Ryan against Taiwan Walker. How good is Taiwan? Man, he's been that really is, good. Woo. You would think so it's one over his last seven, I think yeah. it is. You think those pitching matchups favor the Mariners looking at it. And again, no Miguel Cabrera on the DL for six weeks with a calf injury. 
Tigers are 13th in ERA. First in hitting, but as you mentioned, Cabrera out of the lineup, and that's a big part of that. We're going to deal with J.D. Martinez. That kid swing the bat really well. Let him deep in right center. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, Back up. Every time I see him in the highlights, that's where he's going. Yep. He has 21 home runs. Montgomery ahead of Ben Zobrist. 0-2. Field hit the ground out. With two outs, the Mariners get a two run single by Seth Smith in the top half of this inning. They kept a 2 1 lead. Defense Jones will get it back in. As ben Zobris gave it a long ride, a double is 16th. Tying runs at second base. James Jones, the center fielder, was playing out towards right center field, and that's the changeup. Hits it out to left center. Ackley not able to get there in time. Butler today 0 for 2. Lined out hard to left. Back in the fourth. Ball one. Rick waits out of the dugout, going to make a trip to the mound. Lowe continues to throw in the Mariner pen. Mike is now at 75 pitches. Fernando Rodriguez throwing in the A's bullpen, right hander. A lot of strikes again today. 75 pitches, 54 strikes. Next time the Mariners see the A's, it'll be late August in Seattle. A Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday afternoon. Two night games and a day game. And then we're back here a week later. September 4, 5, and 6. Close out the season series. Zobis, fast runner at second. Pitch the puck player. 2-0. Got out of fifth inning trouble with the double plays. Hit a double play here in the sixth. Now he delivers a strike. Run the count to two and one. Billy Butler. Good swing by the Billy. Got a piece of it. Two and two. Good cut fastball right on the inside corner. If Butler had put that ball in play, it would have been in on his hands. Two two pitch. Counts run full. Josh Fegley's on deck. Ace catcher who's 0 for 2. Cano and Zanino going out for work. Montgomery. 
A situation where you have a veteran hitter at the plate, and I think they want to make sure he doesn't give in to him. You have first base open. Although Fegley hasn't had a lot of opportunities, but hitting 346 with runners in scoring position this year. Well, here we go. Two outs, tying run at second. Clean up, man, Billy Butler. 3 2 pitch. Fooled him. And it wasn't the fastball. Butler looking for the fastball. Barely able to get a piece of looked like a changeup. 81 miles an hour, and you can see this awkward swing. Emergency. I mean, he almost hits this right out of Mike's glove. Mm. Here we go again. 3 2. Swing and a foul. Lead action on that. 25th pitch coming up. Red Sox have defeated the Astros 5 to 4 up at Fenway. 2 1 is the score here, and ball four to Butler. So the go ahead run is aboard. First walk issued by Montgomery. Begley today struck out and fly to center. And Lloyd's going to go get him. So five and two thirds for Montgomery. Two strikeouts and a walk. A run on six hits. But Mark Lowe. Gonna call on him to get Josh Fegley with two on, two out here in the six, two one Mariners. A couple of strikeouts, 82 pitches. He threw 58 strikes. He's responsible for the two runners that are out there. And again, I think this is a situation where you take a look at Mark Lowe and his numbers, where Lloyd, Rick Waits, probably were together before this game started and decided that they were going to make sure that Montgomery, around 80 pitches, that that was going to be it for him. Again, he threw 105, and then in his last outing, 113, two complete games. They're trying to take care of the young man. So let's turn it over to Mark Lowe. For the pinch hitter, Josh Reddick, going to pinch it for Fegley. Trying to go for two against Mark Lowe. Two men on, two outs. Two one man in the lead. First pitch strike. David Rollins getting loose in the Mariner pen. Ball one. Mark 
Blows come up big with a lot of strikeouts as Rollins prepares. Mark over his last 11 out at 17 Ks. Two and one. Piece of it, two and two. Redick in Friday night's game went two for four, scored twice. Last night he went 0 for four. Two and two, two out, two on, two on lead. Mariners pitch. And you can see Mark being very careful. All those pitches away from him. Last one, 95 miles an hour, well located at the knees, right on the outside corner. Here we go again at two and two. The fifth man to the plate here in the sixth. Low try to put out the fire here. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. Mark Lowe coming up big again. So that's over his last 12 outings. He's got 18 strikeouts, and that's as big a K as he's had all year. 2-1 Mariners. Lake, your link to what's next by Money Tree. Proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. By Jack in the Box, taste the new black pepper cheeseburger today only at Jack in the Box. And by Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Love the flyovers here in the Bay Area, and you got to love this score right now two to one. Mariners in the lead as we go to the top of the seventh. Well, Josh Reddick. Stays in the ball game. He's in right field. Sam Fold moves from right to left. Moving from first base to catcher is Stephen Boat. Moving from left field to first base is Mark Cannon. Wow. 
There's Dustin Ackley having a good day. Two for two. Single to center, single to right. Fernando Rodriguez on the mound for the A's. And Rollins has sat down in the Mariner pen. Joe Bimal up. And a good dig by Kenna at first base. One away. And Dustin's hit the ball hard today. And we'll get on top of that high fastball. Take a look at Zobris, the second baseman. Went off the heel of his glove, and he was fortunate the ball falling right next to him. Here's Brad Miller. Brad today a foul out and a strikeout. Just joining us, one of the real big moments we've seen. Seth Smith, a two out, two run single in the sixth. Here's the Rodriguez foul. Is four and four in this road trip and looking to get a split here in Oakland. Get them to five and four. They're going to face the Tigers for the next three days. Tigers got pounded at home today by Toronto, 10 to 5. Three and two. Zanino on deck. That went off Stephen Pope. Pretty good fastball from Rodriguez. Last two fastballs, both of them at 95 miles an hour. Two pitch. Struck him out. Two outs. First strikeout for Rodriguez. Make sure you join us for Nelson Cruz Bobblehead Night. It's coming up this Saturday, 7 10, start time against the Angels. The Boomstick will make his Mariners Bobblehead debut. It's free to the first 20,000 fans. So get ready to enjoy the boom in Bobblehead form by picking up your tickets right now at Mariners.com. In the hoodie. Well, we can't help you. There you go. That's a separate purchase. Strike one to Mike Z. Over two. Rodriguez in his third year with the Athletics. Previously had been with Houston in 2011 and 12. The Angels in 09. Eric O'Flaherty getting loose in the A's bullpen. Got a headline for you. Steven Strasburg, DL. Again, this time strained oblique. Seems like remember when they shut him down mm -hmm. going into the playoffs and it's just gotten worse every year. Yeah, ever since. Had a tough time staying off the, the DL. Two and two to Mike. Full count. James Jones on deck. Oh, 
Rodriguez and Nando strikes out. One, two, three inning for Fernando Rodriguez. Home seventh. They'll stretch here in Oakland. Mariners lead it 2 1. Play today. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon wherever you're watching us. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew, your line score for today. 2 1 Mariners. Seth Smith came up huge with two outs and a 3 2 pitch. Singled up the, up the middle, scored two runs, and put the Mariners in front. Sam Fold, his home run in the third, the only tally so far for the Athletics. Mike Montgomery. Right now in line to get a W. He extended his scoreless streak to 20 innings before giving 20 and a third innings before giving up the home run to Sam Fold. Mark Lowe will continue on here. Swing and a miss by Brett Laurie, who leads off, followed by Mark Canna and Marcus Simeon. Really haven't been many opportunities for either club today, the Mariners. I think with runners in scoring position, they are one for one. The base hit by Seth that you were talking about, Dave, and so far for the A's, they're 0 for 2. Back up this way, right into bounce right in front of Vince Catronio and <laughs> and Ray Fossey you on know, A's radio. Uh, you know Ray Fossey's going to give it to him. <laughs> You can hear the fans giving it to Vince downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and two. Line drive, base hit. And Brett Laurie's aboard. And as you pointed out in every game, this team likes to run. They can run. He's four out of five. Well, let's hope the Mariners can pull off their third double play here today. You know, far off the plate, he is. It's almost like he was expecting that fastball to be inside. Mark trying to throw it in off the plate was able to get it there, but Laurie hit it hard. Bob Melvin's club in last place, half game behind the Mariners. Here's Mike Canna. Laurie and Kenna have pretty good speed, so his ball hit right at one of the infielders to get this double play. The base hit by Laurie. He had an 0 2 count. It's a fourth A's hit. And seven at bats when they were down in the count 0 and 2. And here's Kenna, he's down 0 and 2. Looks like 
Sometimes it means a manicure. <laughs> Takes Cano right to the bag. Perfect. That was the prescription we wanted filled. Slug your way to the home run derby crown and master the free award winning game millions of playing. Download MLB.com home run derby free on the App Store from the App Store and Google Play. It's three double plays today in consecutive innings for the Mariners. Simeon, one for two. So going to miss. And this will probably be the last hitter for Mark. Gold waiting on that lefty. Bimel ready to go in the pen for the Mariners. Eric O'Flaherty continues to throw in the A's bullpen. One-one pitch. Lee Buckler there, one and two. on the slider. I think Mark wanted to throw the slider off the plate away as you can see. Simeon was out in front of it and hooked it just enough for it to go foul. Mark ahead one and two. Low on in relief of Mike Montgomery. It's five and two thirds. One run, six hit ball, one walk, and two strikeouts. One two pitch. Got him. Mark Low, good work. Got a double play and a strikeout. Gets out of the seventh. Mariners carry a 2 1 lead into the eighth.
join us Tuesday. During the Mariners game for Twitter Tuesday, you're going to have five chances to win exciting prizes. Going to be posting questions. We want to hear from you, so be sure to watch and follow us on Twitter at RootSports underscore NW. Giveaway rules, visit us at RootSports.com. Tigers coming to town Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon against the Angels closes out the first half of the schedule. So we look at CenturyLink, what's next here? Your pitching matchups for the Tigers series. Verlander went today, so we'll see him. Top of the order, James Jones, Kyle Seeger, Robinson Cano here in the eighth. Jonesy looking for his first hit since his most recent call up and for the season. He's been up at the ball club now twice. Well, for 11. Strikeout looking, swinging, and tried to bunt his way on it. When he get back to the pitcher. Endo Rodriguez, his second inning of work, struck out two in the seventh. Nice play, Zobrist. Rob Jonesy there. Nice play. Well, Jones hit it hard. Ended up getting a fastball in the middle of the plate, hit it hard, but Zobrist again. This is probably the fourth play that he's made in this series to take base hits away from the Mariners, including this one going to his right. We talked about this Thursday, first game of the series. Oakland stays in last place. We're going to be coming up on that trade deadline in about 26 days. I'll be stunned if he's still with this ball club when next time we see him. Got one one to Kyle Sigurds, one for three. A base hit, hit the ball hard the other way. Have had the shift on with Kyle hitting this entire series, but right now Simeon, the shortstop, playing more towards the middle. One on one. Robinson Cano on deck. Well, two. Two one count for Kyle. Three and one. Here's Robbie. Hit on his right ankle last time up. That was in the sixth. I would like to have that fastball back. You can take a look at our EQC tracer. 93 right down the middle. Elevated a little bit for him. Again. <laughs> he was able to get it back. Look at that one. Almost in the same spot down the middle. Three two pitch. And 94 beating. Two down. Rodriguez third strikeout. This one elevated up out of the strike zone. Now just a little bit late on it. Robinson Cano. looking for their third win in daytime ball in their last 14 opportunities. Two one lead. Going to Ravi. Fly deep to right, deep to center, hit by a pitch, and then scored on the Seth Smith two run single with two outs and a 3 2 count for Smitty. 
Sport along with Nelly Cruz. Nelson Lloyd McClendon will not be with the club the next three days. Attending family matters. Youngest sister Angela, 43, passed away recently of a heart attack back in Indiana. Thoughts and prayers go to Lloyd and family. Robbie battling 0 and 2. Started this ball game having hit at the four hits in his previous eight at bats. This grab by the catcher Stephen Vogt who started the day at first base. Laurie Simeon Zobris and Canna. In the infield with both behind the plate, full Burns and Reddick in the outfield for open. Go Rodriguez, the third pitcher today. Do it again. Two outs, nobody on here in the eighth. All the strength, 80 miles an hour, very effective pitch for Rodriguez. Records his fourth strikeout. He struck out four of the six men he's faced. Mariners lead 2 1. Joe Bimo will take over for the Mariners. First homer for Sam since September 14th last year against the Mariners Chris Young. Then in the six, big heroics here, Mike. Good at bat by Smith. On the sixth pitch of the at bat, he ends up getting the fastball down and away from him. After Cruz, it doubled with two outs. He hits that base hit back up the middle to drive in the two runs for the Mariners. Seth Smith came in with a 323 batting average in day games, one of the best marks in the league. That <laughs> was so big and so. So needy for a team that had gone 15 consecutive innings without scoring a run. Joe Bimo will take over for the Mariners. No, you're absolutely right. You take a look at the numbers for Joe. 322 ERA. Those innings start to mount and you feel the pressure of it. It's good to have a veteran hitter in the batter's box at that moment to come up with a big base hit.
Time of the third Mariner pitcher today, Mark Lowe. Outstanding work. Inning in a third, one hit, two strikeouts. Mike Montgomery in line to get the win. Bullpen can continue to get the job done. He went five and two thirds, six hits, one run, a walk, and two Ks. Bimel. It's time. Throws out full. Veteran move, no panic, right? None whatsoever. Saw James Jones trying to bunt for a base hit earlier, and he did the same thing, bunted it back to the pitcher, able to get fold by a step. Back to the top of the lineup, Billy Burns will step in, the switch hitter. So you have the lefty fold, switch hitter, and Burns, and then the lefty vote do up. Fernando Rodney getting loose in the Mariners' pen. On the first pitch, popped it up. Lomo had it then lost it. Said, Nino, yes, nice play. Fun. Logan lost it. You're right. He put his hands out, and as soon as Mike saw that, he just kept running after it. Oh, that was big. Over the shoulder. <laughs> well done. Yeah. So important to keep Burns off the base. You can see Logan right there. He can't find it. And Mike never quit on the play. And a look at our Alaska Supermo on the play by Zanino. It looks like it hits on the heel of his glove, but he's able to hang on to it. No, right on the end. Good play. Quick two outs. His vote. Strike one. Coming on, he's got good speed. Coming on, he makes the catch. James Jones outruns it. And that's a one, two, three inning for Joe Bimel and the Mariners. Well done. Two sparkling defensive plays here in the eighth inning. Jonesy with the big love and better speed. Well done. To the ninth inning we go. 2 1 Mariners. Oakland Athletics. Nelson Cruz going to lay it off, followed by Seth Smith and Logan Morrison. High drive center field. Going back, Burns on the track, and he's there to make the catch. Didn't get enough. Exploded off the bat. He hit it 395. He needed 401. I think the wind knocked it down a little bit, too. The wind blowing across the field from left to right. Mm -hmm. 
He was running out of the box as if he thought he had a chance. Sounded good too, mm -hmm. didn't it? I'm going to get a pitching change. It looks like it'll be Eric O'Flaherty. So Rodriguez retired all seven men that he faced. Take a break. Former Mariner Eric O'Flaherty takes over. Thanks, contest. It's going on right now, and when you stop by any of the five Mariner team stores to sign up, you're automatically entered to win one of ten great prizes, including authentic Mariner's apparel, a photo with a player, or even the chance to throw out the first pitch. Stop by Mariner's team store to enter. Austin Jackson going to pinch hit for Seth Smith. From the former Mariner, from Walla Walla, Washington, Eric O'Flaherty. 17th appearance on the year. 11 strikeouts, 10 walks in the 14 innings that he has worked. Fernando Rodney continues to throw in the Mariners' bullpen. Edward Lahika getting loose in the pen for the A's. Check his swings his first base umpire Marty Foster two and two. Okay. Logan Morris in the on deck hitter. Omo 0 for 3 today. Two to Jackson. Two balls at the shortstop center. Just two away. Brings up Logan Morrison looking for his first hit against Eric O'Flaherty. He's 0 for 6 against him. Jackson will stay in the game. He'll end up in center field. Jones will probably move over to right.
Back one to Logan. Ball and strike. Clarity deals 1-1. One, one. Right to Simeon, and here we go. Ninth inning, 3-4-5 coming up in the athletic Sobers, Butler, Fegley. And looks like Fernando Rodney's getting the call. Seth Smith mm. hitting start today. Two outs, two on, three two count, a single up the middle. And it scored two runs, and the Mariners are on the board and they're holding that lead. Austin Jackson remains in the game. He's in center field. And moving from center field to right field is James Jones. Now here we go, the Fernando Rodney experience back on track. And for Rodney, he just needs to throw some strikes here. Take a look at him. It's his 34th appearance on the year. 15 saves in the 18 opportunities. ERA over five. 26 strikeouts in the 32 innings that he has worked. And he'll pitch get, strike. And he'll get the middle of the lineup. Zobris, Butler, and Reddick do up. One to one to Zobris. Two for three today, an infield hit, a ground out to short, and a double down the left field line. Two and one. Commando missing with a couple of change ups. One pitch. Cano gets this hopper. Blows out Zobris. The all important first out. I'll bring up Billy Butler. Four for 14 career. High against Fernanda. And look at that. The ace. Six and 20 in one run games this season. Most losses and fewest wins in the big leagues. Oh. The first pitch strike, good sign. 
And a good fastball at 95 miles an hour. There's 15 and 13 in one run games. One to Butler. Fouled off. Tyler Clippard, closer for the A's, getting loose in their pen. Huge out here. One, two. Just got a piece of it. His best fastball so far, 96 miles an hour at the bottom of the strike zone. There's Clifford. Outfield deep for Butler. One two pitch from Rodney. Way outside, two and two. Pitch. Got him. Big strikeout. Terrific fastball at 95 for Fernando Rodney. Two down here in the ninth. And changing things up. Everything was down in this at bat to this last fastball at 95. And this one right at the top of the strike zone. And a late swing from Butler. Not able to catch up to it. Two outs, nobody on. Josh Reddick's going to be the hitter. He's one for nine against Fernando. First pitch strike. Fernando deals. Hit the other way. Foul ball. He's ahead on two. Late swing on a really good fastball. Well up out of the strike zone. Able to get ready to chase it at 96 miles an hour. Mando in control here. 0-2 pitch. But he had it. Just missed. Ball of two strikes. Mariners lead 2-1. with the one two pitch and foul again 97 miles an hour he's feeling good yes he is again at the top of the strike zone and one two pitch ball two what a good job by Reddick right there to lay off of that changeup. It was well located after the high fastballs. You can see just below the strike zone, 83 miles an hour. Right, McClendon has said time and time again, if the Mariners are going to be successful, they need Rodney in this closing role, performing at his peak. 2-2 Two -two pitch to Reddick. All three. Back hitters Brett Murray. Well, here we go. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch. Tapper oh. up the middle. Miller charged. Can't get it. Tang runs aboard. What a battle. This is a high changeup. Chopper over the mound. Reddick runs well, so Brad having to hurry in between hop as it goes off the heel of his glove. That'll be an infield hit. 
Reddick, a head first slide in the first base. For the life of me, I don't understand that, but that's a whole nother debate at another time. Mike Davis is going to pinch hit. And Lloyd McClendon out of the dugout. He's going to make a trip out to the mound. Nobody throwing in the Mariners' pen. He's going to have a conversation with Rodney. Probably wants to go over the scouting report on how he wants him to pitch to Davis. Davis one for two against Fernando. What is this, the Ed Sullivan show? <laughs> Those of you of a certain age remember this song well. These conversations are usually pretty quick. Two outs, tying run aboard. Bottom of the ninth. And as big a spot as Fernando Rodney's been in all season. Mike Davis, a 264 hitter with three homers and 16 runs batted in. Brennan, a fast runner at first. Fernando, first pitch. Dyke Davis. Strike one. And already, the one pitch. Change up misses high and wide, one one. Pitch to Davis. Up high, two balls in the strike. Outfield deep for the Mariners, Ackley, Jackson, and Jones. Trying to take the double away. Want to keep everything in front of them. 2 1 pitch. Tight Davis. 3 and 1. Has put himself behind the eight ball here, three and one, two out. Time run at first. Mark Tanna is on deck. Three one pitch. Swing and a foul tip, three and two. Pretty good fastball. A oh, belt high at 95 miles an hour. An aggressive swing by Davis. Owner Fernando will come back with the changeup after the good fastball. Fernando digs in, comes set, 3 2 to Davis. Outside, ball four. Missed with the changeup. Winning run is aboard. Goes with the changeup, 84 miles an hour. You'll see Zanino typically in the changeup. He will set up right down the middle. A lot of movement on that pitch as it goes off the plate. We're going to have a pinch runner. Eric Sogard going to pinch run for Davis. Nobody left on the bench for Bob Melvin. Now heading, first baseman, number 20, So good speed on the bases for the A's. Drama builds. Canna one for two against Fernando. Two out. Tying run and the winning run. All board here. Canna today. Pop up. Infield single and bounced into a double play. Hell set. The 0-1. It was ahead of Cannon now 0-2. 
Back to back change ups. For Rodney, he's now thrown 25 pitches in the inning. Twenty-five pitches, fourteen strikes. And he could use one right here. Oh, and two steps off. Nail biter deluxe here in the ninth. Two on and a two one Mariner lead. Fernando set pitch. Bouncing ball. Seeger charges. Throws. Got him. And the Mariners win the game. Two to one. They're going to come home five and four as Fernando shoots that arrow in the sky. They get the split here in Oakland and a couple of heroes, Mike. You got Mike Montgomery. You've got Seth Smith and Fernando made it interesting in the ninth. Well, the bullpen really pitched well. And Rodney, as you mentioned, he was able to get out of it. For him, his 16th save on the year, but Seth Smith, the Mariners, one for one today with runners in scoring position. The one opportunity they had, which was after the double by Cruz, Seth Smith able to come up with a big base hit for him. And Mike Montgomery again continues to really pitch well. Gave up one run today. It was a solo home run to fall. Then again, I think he was on a limited pitch count after his last two outings. So a good job by the bullpen today. Sure enough, Mike Montgomery runs his record.